So welcome to this example, follow-up to lecture four for how to compute variance. Remember we had two definitions. One was sum of square deviations divided by the degrees of freedom. And the other one was still divided by the degrees of freedom, the sums of the squares minus the sum, all squared, divided by n. And I thought I'd just give a quick example worked with toy data to see this in action. So here's my data points. 4, 2, 0, minus 2, 3, and 5. So let's do the first example. Call that 1, and call that 2, and make sure we get the same numbers. So here, if we compute the deviations, well, firstly, we need to know what the mean is. So this sums to 12, and which implies that the mean is just 2. So the deviations here are plus 2, 0, minus 2, minus 4, 1, and 3. So this means that the deviation squared is 4, 0, 4, 16, 1, and 9. This sums to 34, and therefore 34 divided by the degrees of freedom, which is 5, 6 minus 1. This gives me that the variance is 6.8. If I now do the uh, option 2, And remember that these are my data points xi. I can consider xi squared. And this is 16, 4, 0, 4, 9, and 25. And the sum of the xi squared, uh, which I computed on a calculator, is 58. So formula 2 says I need to have 1 over 6 minus 1 times 58 minus 12 squared by 6. And if you compute that, it's the same thing. Okay, I hope that was a quick and sweet summary of what we learned today. And hopefully this will help you with examples in future.